guys and welcome back. This morning I had a haircut appointment so I thought I would take that time since I was already out and swing by Hobby Lobby and maybe TJ Maxx and just kind of browse around. It's probably been before Christmas since I've been out like shopping in a store. It's just not something I do a whole lot. You guys know I love to thrift and I'll shop online. Um, but as far as shopping in store, it's not something I do a whole lot, but I thought I would kind of share with you all what I look for when I shop at places like Hobby Lobby um, and maybe just share a few ideas with you all for things that you can look for too when you shop at stores like this. So I hope you enjoy. I thought we would just browse around together and see what all we can find. This way you can see the things that I am most drawn to. I definitely didn't make it up and down every single aisle, um, but rather I kind of chose the ones that I was the most interested in and I'm sharing that with you all today. After we finish this, we'll head home and check out what I ended up coming home with. we are warm and cozy and we have coffee I can share with you all the things that I got but before I share my finds for the day and what I actually came home with I thought I would just talk a little bit about um, my process behind shopping at places like Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, stores like that. Uh, I love shopping there. I don't shop there a lot but I do think it's important to, you know, incorporate some new finds in with vintage finds so you really have that collected, um, overall cozy, warm feeling in your home. Uh, I don't want my home to look like a thrift store. I also don't want my home to look like I've just went out and purchased everything new. So it's finding that mix and that balance that really is key. There are things there that I just kind of go right past or I don't even look down the aisles. Um, I'm not really a fan of the 
um, signs and lots of wordage in our home anymore. I've kind of gotten away from that over the last couple of years. I've definitely seen a shift in our style. Um, and so I don't really shop for as much of the trendy, more modern farmhouse type decor. I still love it. I think it's beautiful in other homes. I just, for our home, I'm kind of going a different direction. Um, but with that said, even if you are into more of the vintage look like I am, there are so many really great things you can still find at these kind of stores. So just wanted to share that and then also kind of share what I look for. So first up, I always love to look in the floral section. Um, I don't love decorating with faux stems all that much, but I really love the look of dried florals. And a lot of times at Hobby Lobby, you can find some really beautiful stems that may not be dried stems, but they have that look, especially if you can find those beautiful muted colors that I love so much. That leads me to my first find of the day, and that is these faux Cosmo stems that you've probably seen all over Instagram because that's where I first saw them. Um, you know, like I said, I typically don't love to decorate with faux stems, but these are just so beautiful. I couldn't pass them up and they had the colors that I wanted. I looked online and unfortunately they are sold out online. So I was really surprised to see these in my store. I picked up uh, two different colors to create more interest in some kind of arrangement. I still don't even know where I'm going to put them, but I'm really excited to have these. I just love the muted colors and they really have that just dried floral look to me that can really carry me all the way into fall. Another thing that I was really surprised about today at Hobby Lobby was their selection of like wooden kitchen utensils and cutting boards. They had so much to choose from, all from their spring shop, so that means it's 40% off. And I was really happy to find this really pretty cutting board. And this is just something that when you look at it, you have no idea where it came from. So it doesn't look like a Hobby Lobby piece, if, if that makes sense. Um, but I love the size of this. The two cutting boards that I have, I have hanging on our kitchen walls. So I was really wanting one to be able to prop on my backsplash just for a nice splash of color, a little bit of contrast against my all white kitchen. And I think this one will fit perfectly. I can't wait to decorate with it. And speaking of all of the wooden uh, utensils and kitchen things I found today, um, I did end up picking up some wooden spoons. I'm not sure if you remember from my previous like, home tour that I did, I have a single wooden spoon all by itself in a crock beside my stove, and that's because it's the only one that I own. <laughs> so when I saw these today, I thought I really need to pick up a few of these. Not only will I actually be able to use them in my cooking, I hope, I think you can use them. Yes food safe, hand wash only. So you can use them, but not only will they be useful, but they will keep my single wooden spoon I had company. So won't be all alone anymore. And it'll look a lot better to have a more full crock of utensils rather than the one I had just by itself. So I got this one, just your regular spoon. It was only $3.99 and 40% off of that. So I thought that was a really good deal. This one was a bit more expensive. Uh, it was $9.99 and of course, all this was 40% off, so I'm sharing with you the full price. I also ended up with a spatula and then a larger spoon. So I think these will definitely come in handy and they'll look pretty on the countertop too. Probably my favorite wooden utensils that I found today are these cute little mini spoons. And I don't even know what I would use these for, but I think they are so cute. And they're gonna be really cute in the little crock that I have. But for whatever reason, these were a little more they were $7.99 each, again, 40% off of that, but for whatever reason, these tiny ones were the most expensive. But the last thing I'm gonna share with you all that I got at Hobby Lobby today are these bunny tail uh, dried stems. I think they're so cute. I've wanted some of these for a while and I haven't really seen any anywhere, um, but these are a very neutral color, so this would carry me right into fall as well. And I have a blue, um, like a blue, clear blue glass vase type thing that I was looking for something to go in there for our bedroom and these will be really pretty. Anytime I have like a colorful vase, I like to uh, tone it down as far as with what I put inside it. So going with this neutral color, I think will be really pretty. As for TJ Maxx, I really didn't find a whole lot there. Uh, today, I looked at most of their home decor items. I was kind of running out of time, um, but I did think that Hobby Lobby had a much 
better selection of wooden um, cutting boards and utensils and things today than TJ Maxx did. Usually it's the other way around for me. Maybe it's just where I live. Um, but I also checked out their throw pillows. I was really hopeful that I would find some throw pillows for our living room. I'm really on the hunt for a couple of throw pillows to add a little more color to our space and I really didn't find anything there. There was a set of uh, two kind of like with the neutral gingham print. I thought they were really pretty but didn't really fit the look that I was going for so I passed on them. Another thing that I really uh, was drawn to at TJ Maxx but I didn't get uh, were some printed rugs that I found. I thought they were so pretty. They're really similar to the ones that I've purchased uh, from Laloy and they are just, I love the look of a printed rug. They're really easy to maintain and they're very livable when you have pets and kids and they had a great selection today. Mostly like runners, maybe hallway rugs, bathroom rugs. I didn't see any big area rugs. I might have overlooked them um, but nevertheless a really cute selection of smaller rugs. The one thing that I did buy at TJ Maxx, and I only bought one thing, and that was this lovely broom. I love to have pretty brooms and dustpans and dusters because I think they're really pretty when you leave them out on display, and of course they're useful. That's my favorite thing is being able to have something that's both useful and functional and also decorative at the same time. Um, but this broom is actually for our upstairs. Uh, since we painted the bathroom floor, I've been afraid to run my vacuum over it. I'm just so afraid I'm going to scratch it. It's holding up really nicely, but I still don't want to risk it just yet. Um, so I wanted to find a broom just for the upstairs of our home. That way I'm not having to carry my one broom up and down the stairs all the time. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gave you a few ideas uh, for things to look for in these kinds of stores, even if um, that look overall is just not for you. You're more drawn to vintage things like me. Uh, definitely don't forget to check out these stores because you can find a lot of really great things to complement your overall vintage look. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys have a very blessed weekend and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye.